Hi, this is Professor Kelleher, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to download and configure the Wabbit Emu emulator for the TI-83 Plus calculator. As you can see, I'm in my lab, and what we're going to do is open the Course Tools menu, go to Document Sharing, and here are the files that are needed for the calculator. Um, there's the Mac version, which I won't be demonstrating. Um, if you try this and to install it and run into any problems, let me know. We're going to install the Windows version. So we'll download that first. save it onto the desktop and then for both the Mac version and the Windows version in addition to the program file we need the operating system for the calculator that's this TI-83 plus ROM file so we'll download that as well saving it on the desktop Okay, so now we have the two zip files we need. For organizational purposes, I'm going to create a folder that I'll just call Wabbit Emu. Now let's open the first zip file and drag the program into that folder we just created. I'm done with that. Now open the second zip file and drag the ROM file into the folder. Alright, so there's the program. There's the ROM file. You could just stop here, leave this folder here, and simply double click on this each time you want to run the program. You could move this folder into your My Documents folder or somewhere else. What I'm going to demonstrate is moving this folder into the folder where all the program files reside, and then make a shortcut and install that shortcut into all programs. All right, but this is completely optional. Okay, open computer, open the boot drive, open this program's file, and then just move Rabbit EMU into here. Now I'm going to open Rabbit Emu and using a right click I'll move a shortcut temporarily onto the desktop. And I want to get rid of shortcut. So I'll do that by renaming the shortcut. Now, what I want to do is get the shortcut into all programs. I click start, right click on all programs, and click on open all users. Then open the programs folder and simply drag Rabbit Emu there. All right, everything should be set now, so let's try it. All right, there's Wabbit Emu. Let's start it. All right, uh, I don't want to see this every time I run the program, so I'll, I'll uncheck this box. Click Run. Now, Wabbit Emu is looking for its operating system, so we'll browse 
to that ROM image. Looks like I'm already there, but I'll demonstrate from the beginning. Now we're finished. Here is the calculator. I prefer to see the skinned version. So I'll click on View and enable the skin. Now there are some options we might want to set. I prefer that to set uh, the click to check this box so that the calculator always re opens in the state in which I left it. What I'll demonstrate now, I'll turn the calculator on, clear it, and then just enter a number, close the calculator, and reopen it. Voila! Feel free to give this a try. If you're running into any problems, let me know.